Hello, I'm Deborah Knight. Welcome to this Saturday edition of A Current Affair. Great to be with you. The end of Holden in Australia was already hard enough to take, but the way parent company General Motors is exiting the country is causing even more pain. Dealership owners who've spent a lifetime selling Holdens say the deal they're now being sold is a lemon. I get a little bit emotional, but yeah, life goes on. It's not just a job, it's not just a business. I still don't know what it's going to be like without it. They've gutted us. It's terrible, actually, the way they've treated us. General Motors have done over Australia. We love it was a brand synonymous with Australia, but when parent company General Motors pulled the plug on Holden in February, it was a death knell for dealers like Ken Jacker. Disbelief, I suppose. It was, it was like it was a, a movie we were watching. It, wasn't, it, it was unreal. He took over Graham Jacker Holden from his late father. The business has sold Holdens in Maryborough, Victoria for 84 years. I'm glad that he's probably not here to see it, tell you the truth. <laughs> I think he'd be rolling over in his grave right now. Holden has committed to servicing and spare parts for 10 more years, but it's new cars that drive this business, and there's only nine of those left. It makes it very, very difficult to continue. So um, sadly, it'll, it'll have to come to an end for, for, this, for this business as it is, as we know it now. I still can't believe it, you know? Like, I walk in this showroom now and you look around and there's nothing here. Aaron Maffasconi owns eight Holdens and still can't believe his beloved brand is gone. I feel like, um, you know, they've ripped our, they our hearts out, uh, especially for the dealers and all the people that work here, like, especially in a small town. We've got extremely loyal customers. Some of them have come to us quite emotional and saying, what am I going to buy now? 72-year-old Neil Beer runs the Holden dealership in Seymour, where it's not just the customers becoming emotional. I worked and owned Holden dealerships for three quarters of my life. Um, I get a little bit emotional. But yeah, life goes on. Uh, you've got to make the best of what you've got. But General Motors is now accused of making a bad situation even worse. They've taken the Australian family for a joyride that, that's ended up uh, in a cul-de-sac, and it's very, very sad. Senator James McGrath says the exit deal being offered by General Motors is nowhere near fair, and country dealers are the ones hurt most. They're the ones who sponsor the footy club, they're the ones who you know, put money into the, to the netball club, and they're the ones who are going to lose out. And what that means is the community loses out. It, it's very, very sad. We've got to do some reaping here. Maverick MP Bob Catter dressed as the Grim Reaper outside Parliament House this week, mourning the death of Aussie-made cars. But it's a sad day for Australia that Holden Australia's own car no longer exists. Senator McGrath is concerned even the brand itself could be sold off, offering to buy it from General Motors for one dollar. I want that Holden brand to come back to Australia so that the Holden dealers can be the, the guardians of the brand rather than it be left you know, rusting on, on, on a shelf somewhere in Detroit. But Australia's 185 Holden dealers are more concerned with getting a fair settlement from General Motors as it left them high and dry mid-contract. It all boils down to compensation. General Motors are offering $1,500 per car sold over a 12-month period. The dealers say that's nowhere near enough. It's not enough. Simply, it's not enough. Holden dealers in New Zealand have been offered an additional $1,000 per car as compensation. How much money have you sunk into this showroom? Yeah, the facility's only five months new. Um, four and a half million into the showrooms. Mark Beats runs Barton's Holden in Brisbane and opened this state-of-the-art showroom just three months before General Motors pulled the plug. My lease commitments here are $8 million over the next 10 years of the lease. Their compensation amount doesn't come anywhere near meeting one year's worth, let alone the other nine. He's one of the lucky ones with other car brands in his stable, but even switching one of those in here comes at great cost. Every tile, every light was specified by Holden in its contract. A different brand would demand an entirely new look. I've got 
prices on, on that refurbishment that are closer to a million dollars um, just on the, the structural changes to the building notwithstanding the cost of operating and stuff. We're not asking for a special deal for, for the dealers, we're asking just for a fair deal. They're offering to sell a clunker to the Holden dealers. I think it's time for General Motors to um, come back to the table with the dealer council, um, sit down and find a way to part as friends. Now the ACCC is also keeping a close eye on these stall negotiations, so watch this space.